Hi everyone, my name is Melissa. In this short video, we'll compare two tables to isolate and report the differences. Looking at the depicted scenario, when comparing table 2 against table 1, the result should be these three highlighted records. So let's go over the Power Query. Now there is a function called table.removeMatchingRows that removes all occurrences of the specified rows in the second argument from the table passed as its first argument. Be aware that there is no mapping capability, so it is important to make sure that your column headers or field names match before you do that comparison. Let's create a new blank query. and enter that function table dot remove matching rows so we want to compare table 2 against table 1 now we need to pass table 1 as a list of rows so here we can use table dot to records and pass table one. Let's press OK. Perfect. Well, that was easy. But will it still work if our table includes columns that don't match? So let's say that our table 2 contains an additional column with the department. Let's see what happens. So I'll duplicate my query. And instead of table 2, we'll pass table 2 B. Right. So this doesn't work because it's also considering that third column. We need to control what columns are considered when comparing the records. And for that, table.removeMatchingRows has an optional equation criteria argument. Let's give that a list with column names that we want to consider. So in the formula bar, we'll add a comma and as a list, pass in the column names. So we want to consider the end date. And the employee. Excellent. Well, if you ever need to report differences between two tables, this could be helpful. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. All the best. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.